Hi, I'm Christina, and this is my partner. I'm Natalie. Before the 1500s, the scholars believed that everything was based on the Bible. Also, the idea of geocentric was discovered that the Earth was in the center of the universe and all the planets, including the Sun and the Moon, moved around the Earth. In the middle of the 1500s, the scientific revolution was established. It is a new way of thinking that everything must be based on data and evidence to make decisions. And then we have Nicolas Copernicus, and together with Johannes Kepler, I state that the heliocentric theory, which is the sun was in the center of the universe, and all the planets move in an elliptical orbit. And this is Galileo. He's a scientist who built his own telescope and has some trouble with the church, with the popes, because of his statements. And he have to took back his words for that. Francis Bacon was a writer. He's interested in science and he was considered as the father of all the scientific methods at that time. Descartes was also interested in science but he followed logics and mathematics. He said that everything should be doubted until proved by reasons and as he wrote that, I think therefore I am. And he also started geometry which linked algebra and geometry together. Isaac Newton was a great scientist who discovered the law of gravity just by an apple falling on his head and other awesome laws. Alright, so after section 1, we're learning a lot about scientific methods. So we learn about many great scientists in the world who have to develop our science today. Alright, All right, let's, let's move on. on. In session 2, we are learning about the Enlightenment in Europe and get to know some great philosophies. People are selfish, evil, and nasty. They were born with natural rights. They have the ability to make right decisions, and they have self-government. People are good. As you can see, Thomas Hobbes and John Locke are absolutely opposite. Now we will move on to the philosophy's part. Philosophy are good and super smart. They use reason and logic to make sense of life. Voltaire is the most brilliant philosophy who never stopped fighting for tolerance and reasons. One of his famous quotes is, I do not agree with a word you say, but will defend to the death your right to say it. Montesquieu is one of the philosophies who believed that Britain was the best government and the most politically balanced country. Bakaria was a philosophy who believed that criminals also need rights, which is no torture. Wollstonecraft is a philosophy woman who fight for women's rights. After section 2, we get to know that the Enlightenment improved people's life, and it also raised the importance of the individual. Hey, how was your day? Good, how was yours? Uh, I don't really... You know what? Sure. We should move on now. At that time, the philosophies were in danger because the church and the government didn't believe what they said and threatened them. Go, no, you kick out! Salon of Paris are houses of wealthy women where they usually have tea party, listen to music, and have discussion with the philosophies. Enlightenment was spreading and so was the new artistic style. Paintings move from Baroque, which means detail, to Neoclassical, which is similar. Music becomes less religious and more elegant with Mozart and Beethoven. Also, because books were less expensive, so that more people began to read books while having fun. The legacy of the Enlightenment was that the monarchs and the 
government started to make their country stronger. They helped and served their people. Hey, look at all these people on Instagram. They're so popular. Yeah, I know. So beautiful, huh? Yeah. What time is it now? I think it's time for us to move on to section 4. In 1776, there was one problem between the Americans and the government because the government didn't help or protect the people. Lights, models, guest list, cue, music, catwalk. This beat. That's why people started to rebel. This is Thomas Jefferson. He was a writer who fought for liberty and pursuit of happiness based on John Locke's ideas. After section 2, we get to know about the Enlightenment, improved people's life. Get a fair road, the Come on! Oh, I in section 2, we are learning about the Enlightenment and the, in Europe and <laughs> Dude, look at all these pictures on Instagram. Stop calling me, dude! <laughs> Jeez! And you know so nice to see what are the individuals? Okay, so that the legacy of the Enlightenment was that the monarch and the government started to make their countries stronger. Fail! Go, read it! Dude, you're gonna play something. It's okay! No. I just wanna make it more interesting. No! You wanna get more points? No! Jeez, give me that. The legacy of the Enlightenment was the monarch and the government started to make the... Your head was in there, man! Oh, really? Yes! Oh, yeah.